Alright, what is up everybody? Dark Side Phil here. Tonight is Sunday, March 30th, 2014, and welcome to the Weekend Preview. I'm DSP, and uh, we got a unique one coming for you. We got quite the unique week. In fact, not just the unique week, we've got quite the unique two weeks coming for you. And so I just want to let everyone know this video is going to be the weekend preview for two weeks. There will be no weekend preview a week from now. You're going to fully find out why in this video. All right. The camera doesn't seem like it's aimed low enough, but just bear with me. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So let's talk turkey. Let's talk a little bit about what's been going on. Yesterday, John Rambo and I did an outstanding stream of WWE WrestleMania 30 simulation matches. We put a ton of hard work and effort into this. Over three hours of preparation. Getting characters. Downloading them off the uh, the internet. Getting custom music. Inputting it into the Xbox 360. Which is a major pain in the ass. And it was funny because as we were doing it. We're like. Can you even input music into the Xbox One? And we both sat there scratching our heads like. They never even mentioned that. Does it even have the capability? Nobody seems to know. Um <clears throat> But yeah, we went all out in WWE 2K14. 11 simulation matches. The stream, everyone who was on the stream had a ton of fun. I actually got messages overnight, if you can believe it. It was really sweet uh, from a, uh, an, an, uh, an off, uh, not an officer, but a, a member of the, the U.S. military and from the Army side of things who stationed over in Honolulu, Hawaii, actually sent me uh, a thank you tweet saying that him and all of his Army buddies were having a cookout and they were actually watching the WWE Sim stream on the base, and they had a blast. They said it was better than watching the Super Bowl. That shit makes me feel good, man, because they know that we're putting out entertaining content that's entertaining multiple sources, you know, multiple kinds of people, people all over the world. Here's a guy who's away from his home. He's stationed out there to help protect the country, and he's watching my content and having fun. That's awesome. So, shout out to him, shout out to everyone in the armed forces, but that really made me feel good. And uh, those videos are now live on DSP Gaming. If you haven't had a chance, they've, they haven't been up for even a day yet. But if you haven't had a chance, you got to check them out. They are really fun, especially the fantasy stuff that we did. And uh, I don't want anyone to miss out and think again, oh, it's wrestling, I don't care. No, d listen, check them out, you're going to like them, just trust me. So, today, what are we doing? Well, this week... We actually started a few things. We started two new playthroughs because right now we have reached the end of the new content. And in fact, this week is officially the end of the marathon of gaming that I mentioned the end at the end of February. Remember I said for about a month and a half, we're going to be gaming nonstop. There's going to be new releases every week and it's going to be a, I'm not going to be taking any days off because there's just so much content coming out. <laughs> That's all over and done with. All the new games that have come out have come out. We've played through all of them. A lot of them were good. A lot of them were great. Uh, actually, let me take that back. A lot of them were good. Few of them were great. Some of them were just all right. Some of them exceeded expectations. Some of them did not live up to expectations. And we had a crazy month. The month of March has been incredibly busy. I had a ton of views, a ton of attention on my streams. And I want to say to everyone, thank you very much for attending, for all that new gameplay. But now we're back to some downtime, and so right now what I'm doing is playing two games that I never had the, a chance to do a playthrough of, never even beat them uh, during my previous attempts at playing these games a long-ass time ago. So we're talking about Resident Evil 4, which I'm playing the HD remake for Xbox 360, and Final Fantasy X, the new HD remake that came in the HD collection for the PS3, okay? So, in the middle of these two playthroughs, and... I already played Resident Evil 4 today, and that whole stream, that whole three hours that I played is live on YouTube. I uploaded it all. I said, you know what? Just go for it. Upload all of it. So it's all live right now in playlist. Definitely check it out, all right? In addition to that, there is the Final Fantasy X HD playthrough, which as soon as I'm done with this week in preview, and I upload this week in preview to the King of Hate vlogs on YouTube, I'm going to be setting up and playing a couple hours of that tonight, okay? And then those videos will go live on DSP Gaming later tonight, just so you know. Tomorrow, it's going to be much more of the same, only it's going to be back to normal schedule, not a shortened day like today because it was a Sunday and I went to dinner with my parents. No, tomorrow, 1.30 p.m., Resident Evil 4 HD, boom, first stream. Right now I'm on Chapter 4.1, and apparently I'm getting near the end of it. So 
from what I'm to understand, chapter 4, unfortunately, is the longest chapter in the game, but chapter 5 isn't so long. And so maybe there's a potential that if I do well and I'm not, I don't die a hundred times, I might beat the game tomorrow. I don't know. I'm not definitively saying yes or no if I will, but there's a chance I will. All right. So that's going to be tomorrow, first stream. <clears throat> Second stream tomorrow, much like today, only it'll be starting a little bit earlier, will be Final Fantasy X HD yet again. All right. I'm loving both games, by the way. I'm happy that I've taken the time now. There's downtime to go back and play both of these games, which are games that I missed out on during that period of time in my life when I was more heavily in the Street Fighter and I didn't really care about playing through these, these longer, challenging console games. I actually did a little bit of grinding in Final Fantasy X last night. I, ma I, I figured out the sphere grid. I'm taking the time to actively learn the games, and I'm liking them. So I hope you'll check out the playthroughs. Listen, I know they're old games. I know that you've probably either played them yourself or you've seen someone else do playthroughs before. I'm doing my best to try to add my own gameplay, my spin with my commentary, and make it creatively uh, uh, you know, entertaining for you. A lot of people who are watching the Final Fantasy X playthrough are saying it's absolutely hilarious and they can't believe more people aren't watching it, but I'm not surprised. I knew both these games are downtime games that weren't going to get a lot of attention. It looks like this weekend, actually, they did get a little bit of a boost, because like I said, on the weekend, I seem to get big view boosts, and that seems to be what's happening right now, is the, the playthroughs got some big view boosts this weekend. Hopefully, people will continue to watch these ongoing playthroughs. So that's going to wrap it up for the business as usual kind of content for this week. Tuesday is going to be a very different kind of day because Tuesday, for a lot of you who don't know, is April Fool's Day. It is a holiday in the United States. It's not an official one. It's not like, oh, it's a government-recognized holiday or anything like that. But it's a day when we like to kind of play pranks on each other and do silly stuff and silly jokes. I always have done an April Fool's special, and this year is no exception. I'm not going to even give you an inkling of what it is because I think it's pretty interesting, and I think that you're really going to enjoy it. And uh, I hope that it does, you know, entertain you in a different way than just my normal content. I'm going to be doing it like I did last year, where I am going to be live streaming this. It's going to be a special where I'll be talking some of it like this uh, on cam, but also there's going to be gameplay involved. There's going to be a lot of different stuff going on, okay? So you're going to definitely want to check that out on Tuesday. That's going to be my first stream. Now, usually around 1.30 p.m. is when I start. I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to start the stream this Tuesday, but it's going to be around the same general time, depending on how long it takes me to get the stuff together and get stuff working for this uh, planned event that I have, okay? <clears throat> so that's going to be my first stream on Tuesday, and yes, that will be recorded and uploaded to YouTube as well, same day. And then Tuesday night, we're going to do a very special edition of the, uh, the Hateful Truth. No. I have so many shows, I can't even remember the names of them. A uh, very special edition of Hate Live. I did not do an edition of Hate Live, my ongoing podcast, last week because I was too busy with games. This week I said I'm going to do it this week. It's going to be a special edition where, number one, we're going to talk gaming news. There's been some interesting news regarding things such as the Oculus Rift and Facebook and people shifting around and moving around. And there's been some other interesting news as well. But also, I want to, in detail, outline for you guys the trip, how it's going to work, this week, with me going on the trip, talking about how I'm going to go house hunting, etc., etc., okay? And uh, give you a little bit more insight into the trip and what we're planning on doing, what we've been seeing as we've been looking for houses, and how it could concretely benefit uh, my content to be able to actually get a better place. And really, this is the culmination of years of hard work. You know, after way back in 2008 doing this as a hobby, in 2011 starting to doing it as a job, and really putting so much hard work, dedication, and just perseverance in doing this for so long, which I never thought that I'd ever be able to support myself doing this. And now I'm, to, to, I'm at a, a point in my life where I'm able to get a bigger place. I'm moving up. I'm going to move in with my girlfriend for the first time. I'm going to have all kinds of space, new filming locations to work with, original content. It's going to be so good. And I'm going to outline all that for you guys on Hate Live this week. And, of course, I'll be taking live callers. We'll see what people have to say about it. Or about anything that's going on in gaming news at this time, okay? Um, so that's going to be the official end to the planned content. And let me explain what I mean by that. So tomorrow, as I said, I'm going to attempt to beat Resident Evil 5, but there's no guarantee I'm going to be able to do it within the five hours of gameplay that I've allotted. If I don't beat Resident Evil 5, there's a chance. And I want to emphasize this. There's only a chance, not anything guaranteed. 
but there is a chance that let's say I'm one to two hours away from the end of the game, that sometime on Wednesday or Thursday, when my girlfriend Pandalee will be here, that I may try to beat the game. Now, I know a lot of people will say, oh no, Pandalee in a, in a video, I dislike her, I don't like her commentary, I hope that she, I, listen, I don't know how that's going to affect anything. I don't know if she's going to want to be in it or whatever. She said this to me. She said that she would like me to beat the game this week so that way it's not a lingering playthrough that I get to the very end. There's two hours left. I'll give you guys have to wait a week and a half for me to beat the game. That would kind of give you blue balls. You know what I mean? So she said she offered. She even said, when I'm there, maybe you can beat it. I don't know how it's going to work yet. I haven't talked to her about it yet, and we don't even know if we're going to get in that situation. So if I don't beat Resident Evil 4 tomorrow, there's a chance that at some point on Wednesday or Thursday... I may be beating the game, but it's not guaranteed. If not, if that doesn't happen, you're going to have to wait a week and a half because starting on Wednesday, <clears throat> I am taking active time off. My girlfriend, Panda Lee, will be coming on the train and visiting, okay? And Wednesday is going to be more of our preparation for the trip day. We actually have some time, uh, a day or two, where we're going to be spending like around here doing stuff, getting stuff done before we go house hunting. We are going house hunting this weekend. We will be flying, and I'm not going to tell you where. I want it to be a surprise. I will tell you the three potential locations. Either Florida, Texas, or Washington State. In particular, Sunrise, Florida, Dallas, Texas, or Seattle, Washington. And I don't mean those three cities. You know, the surrounding areas as well. One thing that we've learned is that it's usually not a good idea to live in the major city. Because taxes can be higher. Traffic can be worse. But living just outside, you may be able to get away with a lot more. Okay, so, <clears throat> so, that is basically what's going to happen. And so starting Wednesday, there will be no streaming and no videos. I mean, let me take that back. There will be no streaming. There may be some videos left over because, here, for example, if I play for five hours tomorrow, I'm probably not going to upload five hours of content all in one day. And on Tuesday, I may not want to upload Resident Evil because I don't want that to overshine the F April's Fool Day special content that I'm going to be doing for you guys, all right? Maybe what I'll do is like Wednesday, Thursday, I'll be uploading the rest of the Resident Evil. And I got a set of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike matches from weeks ago that I never uploaded. People who watched the live stream of that loved it. But I didn't get a chance to upload those videos. I'm probably going to upload those as well. And that's going to be the end of the content this week on DSP Gaming. However, once we are traveling, which will be near the end of the week. I'm not going to give you the exact days, but near the end of the week we will be traveling, flying. And when we reach our destination, we will be vlogging. Just like we always do when we go on a trip. So you're going to see hotel vlogs. And by the way, we don't have a crazy ass suite at the hotel anymore. Those days are pretty much over. Because I don't know if anyone here knows. But once you become a homeowner or you're a seeking homeowner. The days of blowing money on big, you know, outrageous things you really don't need are over. So a lot of people used to give us shit. Every time they travel they got a suite. You know how expensive that is. No more. In fact, the hotel that we're going to be at at this trip is a nice hotel. We got the king-sized room, and we got it primarily on points that I saved up on my credit card from using that credit card for a year and a half. So pretty much the room is almost free, okay? Um, <clears throat> and we're going to try to be more frugal this trip than on previous ones. Spend less money, you know, do more reasonable things because we really need to save money for this move, this potential move. And so the way that this is going to work is that for a couple days when we travel, you're going to have uh, house hunting vlogs where we're going from place to place, we're looking at potential homes, okay? And I have no idea if they're going to allow us to bring a camcorder into these homes. If they do, that's awesome, because I would love to document my own footage for myself and watch it back later and say, wow, look at all the space in this house. This is good potential for this or that. If they don't, it's all going to have to be mental image, like try to remember it all in my head, how, what the house looked like, right? But hopefully they'll let me record. I don't know. It will depend because there's probably private property. I, mean, if it, I think it'll be the situation of if the people have moved out, they won't care. But if the people are still living there and there's all their personal shit there, they probably won't want me recording. I'm just saying. <clears throat> but also, when we eat, right, when we go to restaurants and stuff in these areas, when we try certain things, we'll be recording. Then, outside of a couple days of house hunting, we're going to have three days where we're going to be touring the area. The major city, maybe some local areas that are, you know, rated highly on Yelp, the app, and stuff like that. And so three days are basically on vacation, but it's cool because what we need to do is tour the area and see, is this the kind of place we would want to move? Or maybe, who knows, maybe we'll go out there, 
we'll find a nice house, but then we realize we really don't like it. The weather is, isn't our kind of weather. The people, we don't really jive or connect with the people, and there's not a lot of businesses and things around that we like. These are all things that can factor into our house hunting decision. So really, it's a five-day trip of house hunting and tourism, and you'll see all those vlogs on my YouTube channel, The King of Hate Vlogs, okay? Um, <clears throat> now, we we're very smart about this. Then we're going to be flying back here, back home, and when we fly back home, uh, we will be able to have some unwinding because we timed it wisely this time where instead of, oh, we're fly back, it's over, everyone go home and now back to business. No, we've got a whole day where we're just going to be relaxing and unwinding. Maybe we'll go do some fun stuff locally, like we like local stores and things that we like to go to, and we'll probably do that. And now we're not going to vlog. That's our normal stuff that we do whenever we're here in Connecticut. And then uh, Prandelli will be going home uh, a week from this Saturday. So not this coming Saturday, but a week from that Saturday is when she's going home. <clears throat> Which means that Saturday night, uh, I should probably get you the date. Hold on, so that way there's no confusion. That Saturday night will be April 12th. So on Saturday night, April 12th, I'll be doing a special stream. It's going to be the house hunting debriefing stream, where I'm going to kind of jump online here and talk to you guys about everything we did when we were on this house hunting trip, how it went, did we find anything, do we have any potential ones we're considering, how was the city that, uh, you know, and all the, the tourism that we did, how did that work out, did we like it or not, and we're going to give you all that information, oh, I'm going to give you all that information in this special stream that night. Now, normally, normally, what would happen is that Sunday then I would get back to business, however... My mother's birthday just so happens to be when I get back from this trip. And therefore, I'm going to be taking my mother out for a special dinner to her favorite seafood restaurant here in Connecticut that she loves. <clears throat> and because of that, Sunday is going to be an anomaly. So we're talking about Sunday, April 13th. It's going to be an anomaly because I'm going to take her to dinner early. This place that she likes to go to is so popular that you usually have to wait over an hour to even be seated. So we're going to probably go to dinner on the early side to be early birds, try to beat the rush. If I get home earlier from that dinner, what I'll probably do is the weekend preview and then a stream of gameplay, which will more than likely end up being Final Fantasy X HD, or it could be Resident Evil 4, depending on which one I'm still playing, and if I've beaten Resident Evil 4 by then or not, okay? <clears throat> then starting that Monday, so Monday, April 14th, then we're back to business as usual. Where every single day, I'll be doing two gameplay streams. If I beat Resident Evil 4, I'm going to be starting a replacement game that week. I know what it's going to be. All right? <clears throat> but I'll announce that when I get back from my trip. Um, that week will also begin the beginning of weekly me playing Oblivion. Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion will begin that week on Friday. And I'm thinking because it is Oblivion and because it's a special event, probably it'll be that first stream on that Friday. I'll be starting Oblivion on the PC. It's going to be this Game of the Year edition with all the DLC and everything installed. It's going to be pretty damn good, okay? <clears throat> so, that's the general idea. That's what to expect for the next several weeks. I apologize that I just don't have a massive ton of archived footage for you to upload while I'll be on this house hunting trip. We will try to keep you entertained with vlogs, um, you know, daily. So if you do want to see what we're doing, how we're making out, go to the King of Hate Vlogs daily and you're going to see new vlogs showing what we're doing that day on this trip and, you know, hopefully it's enough to keep you guys entertained for the, the week, week and a half that I'm going to be away from streaming. But I said it, I said it this way, um, I said it earlier that this house hunting is priority. This is what's going to allow me to move on with my life to make better content for you and uh, it needs to get done. So regardless of the fact that I may have a week and a half that's kind of dead, it has to be done. What I would ask of you guys is this. During this dead time, take some time and go watch some of the playthroughs that I've done that you didn't have a chance to. There's tons of games that came out in the past two months. I mean, just, just within a, a month and a half's time, you had what? <clears throat> Thief, South Park, The Stick of Truth, Titanfall, Metal Gear Solid Five: Ground Zeroes, Dark Souls 2... Uh, Infamous Second Son, two different playthroughs of that game that I did. We did the Winter Olympics co-op with with Howard. 
uh, John Rambo and Joe last month. A lot of people still probably haven't checked that out. We got these WWE Sims that we did. There's just a ton of content that I've put out in the past two months. There's lots of stuff for you to catch up on if you have not had a chance to watch all the content, all right? So check that stuff out. And one thing that I've said, and I'll, I'll throw this out there, there is a giveaway going on right now. I did made a video back on Monday. It's the PlayStation 4 giveaway. Everyone is eligible, and as of right now, I actually checked right before I started streaming. There's about 780 people who've already entered completely for free on the website, thekingofhate.com. You can still enter, okay? If you want to know the rules and you want to understand how it works, I made this video on Monday on the King of Hate Vlogs. It explains everything, and it links directly to the thread on the forums with the official rules link, so go check that out, okay? You can still enter. That contest is running until April 21st, so go, go, go and enter if you have not had a chance to, but... It remains to be said is this. There's times during this year that are going to be dead because I'm going to be busy with house hunting. I'm going to be busy with the process of buying a house, moving, and then probably selling this place. There's going to be downtime during 2014. I would ask that you guys, number one, please watch the content you haven't had a chance to watch. There's tons of it, and I know not everyone has watched everything. Number two... This is the perfect time, especially right now because of the ongoing contest, to subscribe to my Twitch TV channel. You know, I get people who constantly ask me, Phil, I'm a new fan and I would like to donate. Can I do so? Phil, can I send you like, some money? No. No, I don't, I don't accept it. Because since 2011, I've been able to make a living doing what I'm doing and I'm, I don't think it would be fair. I don't think that it would be just, I think that would be almost like a shyster to be accepting donations from people, monetary donations. That's wrong. I want to earn my living. But if you become a paid uh, subscriber on Twitch TV, that's a way that you get stuff for helping me out. And especially right now, I'm going to have two weeks where it's going to be pretty dead. This would be a great time for you to subscribe. It would definitely help me out. And you get entered automatically into the PS4 giveaway with an increased chance to win. So now is the time to do it. So check out the video from earlier this week that explains the rules of the giveaway. If you decide to become a paid subscriber, it would be great. And it will definitely help me during these next two weeks when there's going to be downtime. And... Uh, that's about it. I don't want to go too long. Like I said, I got to jump into Final Fantasy X tonight. That's the weekend preview for two weeks. I hope that you guys are going to join me for all this content, especially the upcoming stuff and the April Fools and everything's going to be great. So that is it. Thanks everyone for watching the weekend preview. I appreciate it. Have a good night. I'll see you real soon for gameplay. And by the way, if you're watching this on stream, don't go anywhere. Final Fantasy X is coming right up, right around the bend. Peace out, everyone. I'll see you later. Wish me luck with the house hunt. I'm going to need it. <laughs>